Yo, hey, welcome back to Cornbread Says, my music focused channel where I review and react to music, interview celebs, and blah blah blah, other things. <laughs> my name's Taylor. My haircut's getting kind of rough, so please don't look at that too closely. It's been, it's been 511 days in quarantine, so you know, we're, we're struggling out here. So Demi Lovato just dropped the emo version of I Love Me, and we're gonna compare it to the original I Love Me, um, which I wasn't a big fan. I'm a longtime Demi fan ever since Camp Rock, and I was very invested in the Don't Forget era. Obviously, I was hyped when I saw there was an emo version, and I just know it's gonna be good. I can taste it. I didn't love I Love Me. I get it was her comeback, some new year, new me kind of thing, but it wasn't, it felt, Let's 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 listen to the song. Way too good at camouflage. Cause I'm a black belt when I'm beating up on myself. Yeah, I'm doing I love me is enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's a cute song. It's cute. It has its moments. I think Demi was trying to hop on that like Lizzo train of like self empowerment and feminine energy. It's very a Lizzo energy and style, even with the the instrumental modern kind of like trap <laughs> drum in there but i don't think she pulls off lizzo's charisma lizzo's songs are hella cheesy but lizzo has all the charisma and weirdness to make you love her in the song i don't think demi lovato pulled that off as well especially since we have been getting this like growth in her music and her voice tell me you love me was way different than unbroken you know uh and she has been growing over the years lyrically how she sounds and i was finally like getting into this like grown and sexy demi lovato i was getting into these like more adult themes. Daddy Issue, You Don't Do It For Me Anymore is one of my favorite songs of 2018. And this song kind of feels like a regression back to Unbroken, um, lyrically and like vocally. But I mean, it, maybe this is what she felt like she had to do to get back into the groove of things. Okay, now we're gonna listen to the emo version featuring Travis Barker, who's a name I haven't heard in years. <laughs> Didn't he date Katy Perry? Is that, is it that Travis Barker? Oh yes. Oh, I'm already obsessed with this. I want that breakdown. She better give it to me. Yeah. This is sick! That was everything I wanted. That was so good! It's weird because like all the original's cheesiness somehow like works. Because I guess like emo music, like the kind of like intense pop punk rock <laughs> of <laughs> yesteryear. It's all about, it, I mean it was cheesy, it was about getting all those like angsty emotions and that's what this song has so many like, so much angst in it that it didn't work in that normal pop format, but this works. This makes me want to go to emo night, you know how she like go, does emo night in LA every now and then? I'm going to the next one and she better sing this. Demi. And it gives you all those like, head banging moments that I wanted, oh. She might have snapped. Demi, can we have a whole album? of emo? You know like Beyonce did B-Day, like her normal songs and then she did all of her songs in Spanish? I want that. But like the pop version and then the emo version. <laughs> Demi, make it happen. Scooter, if you're watching this, I know you watch these like a hawk. Make it happen. Y'all, I'm so happy for Demi. I'm so proud. I can't wait to see what's next. I want more. She better do it. Oh, I want more emo music. Demi, please give your OG fans what they deserve. Did you forget? I was even alive. I can't wait to see what Demi has in store for us next. Thanks for watching. Find this song and more on my new finds playlist, which I've linked down below in the description. Like and subscribe. Uh, and thanks for hanging out. Stay cute. I wonder if I love you is enough.